This is The Medium. This is a fairly new game, came out a couple weeks ago. I just got it, got it started though. Running it on Game Pass for PC, free on there right now. And well, it looks great. This is the game running at 1440p with no ray tracing turned on and no DLSS turned on. But the point of this video is gonna be talking to you about what are those settings and how do they run, all of that. So you'll notice that the uh, game is running, okay, it's set to 3440 by 1440. You can ignore that because the game's really only running at 2560 by 1440. I have an ultra wide monitor, but just keep in mind that this game uh, doesn't really have any ultra wide support. So if you were curious about that, absolutely no ultra wide support that I've been able to tell. <laughs> now, ray tracing has the settings of off, on, and ultra. Now, if you want my fast version of this video, I would recommend on but not ultra. Ultra is too demanding, but I will talk to you about what are the differences between these, and then we'll also get into the DLSS settings. So what are the, difference with the differences between all these settings? Because the game doesn't tell you. I had to do a little bit of research, but here's what it does. So you have two different settings here. You have ray tracing on and ray tracing ultra. Well, I guess three settings if you consider ray tracing off. Now what the game doesn't tell you is what each of those settings actually does. So the other thing that's confusing in this game is this game offers a uh, split reality where you'll be playing the game simultaneously in a spirit world type of thing and a normal world. And when it does that, uh, the game is actually having to kind of render twice. So they have to make some compromises, I guess, on the ray tracing settings when you do this. So when you see the split reality view here, it's saying that sometimes things only work when you're in single reality, when you're just looking at one version of the game rather than two. And that has to do with that weird gameplay mechanic this game offers. So in single reality, so ray tracing on, uh, by the way, the setting that I'd recommend if you're going to use ray tracing, the ray tracing ultra seems to be way too performance intensive for current GPUs. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> so this will enable uh, ambient occlusion, which gives you more realistic shadows, basically. Um, things block light more realistically with the ray traced ambient occlusion. Now, with the ray tracing on, it's in, available in single reality, but if you go into split reality, it would turn off. But whereas the ray tracing ultra keeps it in both versions. Ray traced reflections are enabled in select locations in single reality view, so not everything is reflected. Uh, just with the ray tracing on. More places will use ray trace reflections if you go to ultra, and it will also include it in split reality view. Ray traced transparent reflections are disabled with ray tracing on. Now you might be like, what's the difference here? It's really how many objects are doing the reflection. So with ray traced reflections, you'll see this in things like mirrors that are gonna be obviously reflected, whereas transparent reflections might be in something like a window or a piece of glass that isn't necessarily a main reflected uh, item. You know, so it just really dip, it's just going to add in more reflections, basically, on more types of objects. And then we have reflection enhancements. So this is going to be higher fidelity reflections in single and split reality view. And again, that's disabled with the ray tracing on. And I can show you some examples of these things. So just keep in mind what this is doing. So, so the way you should basically read it is ray tracing on gives you some ray traced ambient occlusion, so better, more realistic shadows and it gives you some ray traced reflections on some really reflective surfaces, but you're losing out on some increased amount of ray traced reflections on more objects and, you're, and the uh, quality of those reflections is turned down a bit compared to ultra. The other main difference here, again, to summarize, is that this will include ray tracing in single and split reality, Whereas uh, in ray tracing on, it's only in single reality view. So those are the differences. Okay, now let's use this room as a chance to look at the different ray tracing settings. So notice that right now with ray tracing off, this window, uh, not window, mirror, I can speak guys, does not really give us a very good reflection. As I pan around here, it reflects a little bit of the books. They sort of fade in and out as we go. You know, it's, it's not amazing. And again, this is the game on highest settings, just without ray tracing on. Now, let's turn ray tracing on. 
you'll notice that here are those ray traced reflections. You'll also notice that my frame rate dropped. If you're using that frame rate counter in the top left, the left is uh, farthest left counter is our current frame rate. The middle is the average, but uh, I can reset that when we change settings if you want. The far right is the 1% lows. Anyway, this isn't intended to be a benchmark video, but uh, if you're curious. All right, much better reflections, neat. Frame rate went down, so that's a big deal. However, notice that again, ray tracing still on here. That if I go over to an object like this, this uh, bookshelf with the uh, glass uh, glass doors, I'm not getting a re real reflection in there. You know that lamp over there is reflected on it, but the room isn't. The player character isn't. So now let's turn on ray tracing to ultra. You're gonna notice my frame rate is gonna absolutely tank but let's actually get a look at what this does. So here is what it means by you're getting transparent reflections and more things get reflections. You can now see the player character and the room in that glass, okay? So we're getting much better reflections out of that. I believe I'm also, yeah, getting reflected in the glass on the clock. So we're getting much, much more in terms of reflections. All right, let's go ahead and turn the ray tracing off. So I can once again show you, first of all, what's the difference. So ray tracing off again, here's what those, those looked like. Now let's look at another scene. So this lamp gets reflected in this wood. And you can notice this is with ray tracing off. The reflection sort of fades in and out as I pan up, which is a little bit distracting. Let's see what happens when we use ray tracing. So ray tracing on, we get a very, very mirrored reflection of this. It's almost too mirrored for what I would imagine the wood desktop would actually be reflecting, but at least it doesn't fade in and out. I do prefer this to the reflection without ray tracing. But now let's see what ultra does, because in the ultra ray tracing, it apparently gives you slightly increased fidelity on your reflections. When we turn this to ultra, I think this is gonna be softer. To me, this is more realistic to what the wood might actually reflect at, although my personal opinion would be this might still be a little bit too, too reflective for a wooden desk. Overall, I think the ultra does look better than the other settings did. It's a little bit softer of a reflection, reflection than we got out of the normal ray tracing, and both settings were better than what we got uh, without it. All right, guys, so that's the ray tracing settings. Now, personally, I've got to say that Ultra is just too demanding, at least for my 2070, and I've looked online and people struggle even with like a 3080. So maybe future hardware could do a better job with that. Ray tracing on, however, still incredibly demanding if I don't use DLSS. So without DLSS, I would find this unplayable. Now, when we do talk about uh, frame rate targets in this game, do keep in mind that I don't control the camera. There's no, there's no quick camera swings. There are these slow pans from fixed camera angles. The game is fairly slow paced. A lot of it is clicking on things, just sort of looking at them. So we can tolerate a pretty low frame rate here. Some people would probably even find the game playable at 30 frames per second, although I would prefer to at least be in the 40s, and obviously 60 would be better. So let's see what DLSS can do for us. Now I'm using this room for a reason. Look at this particular window with this curtain. We're gonna see what DLSS does to that because on the lowest settings, it's gonna do a very bad job. So first of all, where is your DLSS? It's in the advanced graphics menu under anti-aliasing. That's a kind of an odd place to put it in my opinion, but that's where they put it. So if you turn to the uh, farthest right setting on your anti-aliasing, that's your DLSS. And that now opens up your DLSS quality settings where you have balanced quality, ultra performance and performance. Now I wanna show you instantly on ultra performance why I don't recommend this setting. So also if you're unfamiliar with DLSS, you need an RTX uh, NVIDIA card. Uh, it's a NVIDIA proprietary technology. It only runs on their RTX series cards. 
what it does is it runs the game at a lower rendering resolution, but then uses a machine learning algorithm to try to predict what the native resolution of the game would look like. So it's trying to give you what looks like native resolution, but actually rendering the game at a lower resolution, which allows it to dramatically increase the frame rate. So Ultra Performance is going to give you the lowest internal resolution, the best performance, but at the uh, biggest trade-off in image quality because the machine learning algorithm isn't perfect and it can fail if you give it don't give it enough uh, resolution. So watch what I mean. Look at that curtain. It's awful, right? That curtain is awful. It's shimmery, shaky, very immersion breaking, very distracting. So this is why I would not recommend using the ultra performance setting at least if you're playing at 1440p, I don't know if this would alt, uh, do better at 4K maybe. Um, I'll, uh, now, if you look at other scenes though, like this scene, doesn't really look that bad at all. And you'll notice that our frame rate is very good now. So it does have a huge, huge benefit to our frame rate, but pop into another room like this, look at the curtain. Shimmery, shaky on that curtain uh, in both rooms. So I'll just say that ultra performance to me is going to be too distracting when we pop into areas like this. Once again, let me prove to you that with that turned off, with the DLSS turned off, we are not going to be getting that, guys. We, oh, sorry, I forgot I have to go here to turn it off. OK. Um, notice once again that that curtain is now rendered uh, nicely, although our frame rate is awful, right? Same thing with the curtain in the other room. But I will say that as soon as we just don't go to ultra performance, so in other words, what I want to get at now is like, okay, so what level of DLSS makes sense here? Because you're really going to need to run DLSS if you want to do ray tracing. So does performance do okay? And I've got to say that I actually think it does. Look at the window. It's not too bad now. Nothing that I would consider immersion breaking, and it does get our frame rates um, into a much better place. So I would say that from performance and up, the DLSS is usable. Again, this curtain doesn't do too bad of a job either. I'm not saying that you can't pick out any, uh, you know, DLSS artifacts at these settings, but I will say that they're, they're not particularly noticeable. They're the kind of artifacts, artifacts that you're more likely to notice if you're doing side-by-side -side screenshots, intentionally looking for them, rather than just playing the game. So I'd say from performance on up, you're pretty good. Personally, uh, on my particular system, I'd probably use balanced. Let's take a look at what, what that looks like. So balance, I feel like it's a little bit sharper on that curtain. And other straight line edges, I think, are anti-aliased better at this setting. I think uh, overall, I do think balanced does look better than quality. Although on everything other than those problematic curtains, you know, the DLSS has been doing a really admirable job on just about all of it. But again, I think things are looking a little bit sharper here on balanced than they do on the uh, performance setting. And again, if your system can handle it, playing the game on the quality DLSS setting is obviously going to look better even than on balanced. So let's switch to that, give you an idea of what things look like. Things are again a little bit sharper than they were before handles the curtains very, very well now. Pop back over to that troubling curtain we had over here. And on quality mode, I'm not noticing anything immersion breaking here at all. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up my uh, my description for you here. Basically, I'd recommend that the uh, ray tracing on does give you some uh, better ambient occlusion, better reflections. Ultra is obviously better, but I think too demanding. And on the DLSS side of things, I think anything above the ultra performance setting is fine. Although personally, I'd play at uh, balanced or quality if at all possible, because honestly, you don't need a crazy high frame rate in this game, at least from the couple hours of it that I have played. What do you guys think about this game? Overall, uh, this to me, just from a game perspective, if you're interested, the story seems interesting, the gameplay less so. I'm not convinced by that split reality thing being that entertaining, at least in the couple hours I've played of it. All right, guys, let me know in the comments what you think, and I hope you have an excellent day.